Ireland's Tanishta and Minister for Defence, Simon Harris, revealed a major step forward in national maritime security, a multi-million euro deal with Thales DMS France to equip the Irish Naval Service with a cutting-edge towed sonar system. This marks Ireland's first procurement of such high-end undersea detection technology, aimed at dramatically enhancing its ability to monitor activity beneath the ocean surface. The system is slated for full deployment by 2027. The advanced sonar gear is destined for installation on the country's most capable offshore patrol vessels, OPVs the L. James Joyce, L. William Butler Yates, and L. George Bernard Shaw. These ships are the only ones in the Irish fleet that meet the necessary physical and technical requirements, such as adequate deck space and support infrastructure, to host this sophisticated equipment. Although Irish authorities have not publicly confirmed the precise model, defence analysts point to a likely acquisition of a variant within the Thales Captas, combined active-slash-passive towed array sonar, range, likely either the Captas, 2 or its more powerful sibling, the Captas, 4. These systems are globally recognized for their advanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities and their effectiveness in maritime domain awareness operations. CAPTAS systems are renowned for their variable depth towing abilities, reaching depths of up to 300 meters, deep enough to counteract thermocline layers that can interfere with sonar performance. They blend ultra-low frequency active transmitters with passive linear hydrophone arrays to provide precise tracking and classification of underwater threats, from submarines and unmanned underwater vehicles to torpedoes and infrastructure saboteurs. The sonar operates in both active mode for direct engagement and passive mode for covert listening. Should Ireland opt for the CAPTAS, for, it would be a significant leap forward in surveillance capabilities. Also known as Sonar 2087 in the UK, this system is currently used by some of the world's most advanced naval forces, including on the Royal Navy's Type 23 and Type 26 frigates and the French Fren class. Its long-range detection scope would mark a new era in Ireland's ability to monitor its territorial waters and economic zones. Lieutenant General Rosa Mulcahy, Chief of Staff of the Defence Forces, emphasized the strategic value of this acquisition. He noted that it would substantially enhance Ireland's maritime situational awareness, strengthening the country's ability to counter threats ranging from illicit fishing and narcotics trafficking to terrorism and foreign espionage. This sonar procurement is part of a larger government-led push to reinforce Ireland's maritime defence infrastructure. The effort includes the rollout of Ireland's inaugural national maritime security strategy and increased collaboration with European defence mechanisms such as PESCO and SAIS. There's also joint work underway with the Department of the Environment to test the resilience of critical infrastructure across national waters. The purchase is underpinned by historic funding increases for the Irish defence sector, with €215 million Euros allocated for 2025 and €220 million Euros planned for 2026. These investments are in line with Ireland's move toward a more robust defence posture known as Level of Ambition 2. Once the sonar system becomes operational in 2027, Ireland will gain a much-needed, pattern-of-life, surveillance capability, allowing for early detection and rapid response to undersea anomalies or hostile activity. This advancement will give the Irish Naval Service unprecedented tools to protect its underwater territory and reinforce national sovereignty in an increasingly contested maritime environment.